You know, since I switched from APS-C to full frame cameras three years ago, I saw a huge boost in the image quality of my pictures, but I always felt like something was missing. And I didn't really know what was about it until a few months ago when I started to use again my APS-C camera. And I'm not talking about the professional work because nothing can really beat a big large sensor like this for event photography, but also because of the controls you can have on a professional full frame body. So I'm not talking about professional environment, I'm talking about having fun with your photography camera. And uh, this is not something you want to bring with you always and everywhere, because bringing this camera with you can be a commitment. So that's why I decided to sort of take a break from the big full frame cameras and I start to use more and more my little APS-C camera system. If you're wondering what is this uh, camera system that I love to use that much, let me tell you right away that it's uh, pretty easy to find in the used market. You can actually find this system for around 300 bucks. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. I'm talking about the Canon M100 paired with the Canon 22mm F2. This system is freaking amazing, guys. I absolutely love it. I keep recommending it to every friend that I know. Doesn't matter if you are a professional photographer or you're just starting now with photography. Because I seriously think that this is a killer setup that everyone should have in his kit. So in today's video, guys, I'm gonna give you five good reasons of why you should consider to get this little camera paired with this little lens. I think that the reason number one, it's uh, pretty obvious and uh, simple to understand. I mean, look how tiny is this camera. It is uh, really, really small and lightweight. I can uh, pretty much fit it in the pocket of my jacket without any problems, but sometimes I can also fit it in my jeans. It's not really comfortable to have it, but like it's something you can do in case it's raining. So you don't have to bring with you a camera bag. This camera is, uh, I think it's, probably double the size of the Ricoh GR3 or 2. So it is a little bit bigger and heavier, but this camera has a new advantage over that camera because you can still change lenses. So in case you damage your lens, maybe you bump your camera and the lens doesn't work anymore, you don't have to replace the whole camera system spending a lot of money. You can simply buy a new lens and you will be good to go again. So this is like an extremely compact and lightweight system that you can bring always with you, doesn't matter what. So it's not like having a commitment of bringing a big and expensive camera with you, doesn't matter if you're doing street photography or you're traveling or you're just taking family pictures. This is something that I absolutely love to use on a daily basis and I never get tired of it. The second reason why you should consider this kit is about the price and the availability. This camera is not being produced anymore by Canon, but the used market is flooded of these cameras. It is uh, really affordable to buy it. Here in Europe is going for around 250, 300 euros and the 22 millimeter is going for around 100 euros. So with 350, 400 euros, you can have a serious uh, camera system that is able to capture amazing pictures. And I think this is the best and most uh, cost-effective kit you can buy until now, because uh, I don't think you can find something with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor that is uh, this small, lightweight and it has a great image quality. And keep talking about the image quality. The third reason of why I love this little camera is because this camera can capture raw files of uh, 14 bits. And in the past, I also had the Sony APC camera. I actually started with those cameras, but the problem of Sony is that uh, it's recording raw files of uh, 12 bits because with 14 bits in the raw files of this little Canon, I have much more flexibility when I want to play around with the colors. Maybe the dynamic range is a little bit uh, lower with Canon over Sony APS-C cameras, but I mean, you can still shoot in bracketing and you can have much more dynamic range because I mean, when you compare maybe 11.2 stops of dynamic range of this camera with 12 
stops of dynamic range of uh, Sony cameras, I mean, it's not a huge difference. But when we are talking about 12-bit rows against 4-bit rows, the difference is uh, quite uh, big. The reason number four about why I love to use this camera is about uh, the autofocus. Believe it or not, sometimes it's nice to have a camera that has great autofocus. I love to use manual focus lenses on my full-frame cameras, also because uh, the Lumix S cameras have uh, not that great autofocus, so I'm sort of forced to use manual focus all the time. But with this little Canon that has uh, dual-pixel autofocus uh, uh, system, the autofocus is uh, pretty snappy and uh, really accurate. So most of the time I keep this camera in the pocket of my jacket. I just take it out quickly, turn it on, and snap a picture if I see something uh, great going on around me. And 99% of the time the pictures are in focus. Maybe this autofocus system is not as quick as uh, Sony because uh, I think it's mostly related to the lens because this lens is a little bit slow with the autofocus performances while if I use this camera with the kit lens 15 to 45 I feel that the autofocus is much much faster so I, it's not about the camera that the autofocus is a little bit slow in this case is about this lens but 99% of the time the autofocus is fast enough to capture uh, snappy pictures when I see something interesting going on around me so it's a big plus to rely on autofocus when you want to do like some point and shoot photography. The last but not least important reason of why I love to use this camera that much is about the ease of use. This camera has pretty much uh, two functions that I use, automatic or aperture priority. So when I turn on the camera, I'm always ready to snap a picture. And if I need to adjust the exposure, I simply click one bottom and then I adjust the exposure compensation of the wheel and I'm ready to take amazing pictures. If I'm doing street photography, I can simply keep my camera attached to the neck with the camera strap and I can snap pictures with my smartphone keeping the camera, uh, let's say, with a low profile uh, look. This is amazing for street photography, I love to use it. There is a downside uh, talking about street photography because uh, the shutter sound of this camera is uh, pretty loud so you can get some attention if you shoot in a quiet environment and you are really close to the subject but I never had any problems with anyone about it. I think it's... I'm conscious about that clack so maybe people around don't really hear it so I can let you hear now on the microphone what's the sound of the shutter so it's not really quiet, it's kind of strong, but uh, uh, I love it. I love everything about this camera and let me know if you would like to know more about it. I can make a more extensive video about the lens and the Canon M mount system. Um, it's not something that was planned, but like because I really love to use this camera a lot, I want to talk about it with you. And hopefully I can make your life easier if you're going on vacation or if you're doing some street photography session. Uh, I think this is uh, a camera to consider if you want to have a low profile and to have a camera always with you. So this is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.